In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your live stream to all the different social platforms like these all at the same time. Hey guys, it's JP, and welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before and you want to learn all about music tech and looping, start now by clicking the subscribe button, hit that bell, and you won't miss anything. And stick around to the end as we have a small gift for you as well. So with all of us at home a lot more, you, me, other musicians, performers are all taken to live streaming. This is a great way to connect with your audience and fan base and even make a little bit of money through a digital gig. But there's a problem. Some of your fans may be on Facebook, whilst other fans are on YouTube, Twitch, LinkedIn. Your YouTube fans might miss your latest Facebook gig. Facebook fans might not know you're live on YouTube. Plus, all these fans from different platforms can't talk to each other. And if you want to start streaming on a new platform, how do you get a new fan base or get your existing fan base to uproot and move to that new platform just for you? So what can you do? One option is you could set up multiple devices, one for each social platform. But as you go live on one, you're going to have to set up the next one and then the next one. Also, that's multiple devices. Can your broadband handle that? Then you've got the trouble of multiple chats. Say someone requests a song on this one, but then someone over here has said something completely ignored. And of course, that's having the luxury of multiple devices. Maybe you've just got your phone or one computer. The second option is to do multiple gigs, or you could do the same gig multiple times. You want to capture everyone live at the same time in a live environment. The other options is a lot of messing around and a lot of time wasting. So luckily, there is a system where you can actually do one live stream. It will send it out to all the different platforms for you. And you can even have one message board and everyone can message in on that one board and see each other's messages as well. Imagine gigging in multiple venues, but everyone gets to see you at the same time. This way you can increase your reach and your fan base. So what is this amazing package that I'm talking about? This package is called Restream. And what's really clever about it is it's all done on a web browser and then you don't even have to have any additional software. With Restream, you can actually add lots of different platforms. For example, you can add Facebook Live personal page as well as groups and public pages, Mixer, Twitch, YouTube, Periscope, and up to 30 different destinations. What you do is you stream live to them, and then what they do is they push it out to everyone else. The second option you can do is you can actually grab the key link, the stream key, and put it in things like OBS. So I could use my existing OBS system, stream through that, it's gonna go to Restream and push it out to everyone. Now the most powerful thing about Restream Studio is you don't need any software. It's all web-based, and you can choose the audio input. Now, for musicians, that's huge, because, of course, now if I've got my audio interface plugged into my Mac or my PC or whichever, I can choose that and plug my microphone in, my guitar in, my keyboard in, my mixer, whichever I want. You can go a little bit further by customizing the logo, have your own branding, and have your own overlays. Or you can put things like a call to action where you pop something up on the screen, like a like or a subscribe or a go to a certain website and buy a t-shirt. So you can also put viewers' comments on the screen. So this is fantastic. So say someone asks for a certain song or how did you do that? You could highlight that and put it actually on the screen. What's really clever and what Restream have really thought about is how people communicate during a live stream. They have a standalone chat app, which you can now put on your PC and also the Mac as well. So you can see who's chatting and more importantly, which platform they're chatting from. The simple answer is Restream gives you the option to be everywhere at once. It's all your multiple live channels in one single form. There's a couple other features, things like scheduler and analytics. We are going to drop into the user interface. I'm going to show you where everything is, how you get up and running, and then stay tuned to the end for that little surprise. So once you've logged in for the first time, of course, there is no channel it's connected to. So what it needs to do is need to add a channel. It shows you some of the suggestions, and we can go add channel. You've got Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Stream Now, or LinkedIn. So let's go with YouTube to begin with. And all you need to do is connect your YouTube Stream Now. So we can set it manually if you want to, but I'm just going to click that one. It'll take me to the right place. So it says there, choose your account or brand account. So I'm using my John Paul Music UK account. And of course, it's gonna ask if it can grant access to your account so it can then start doing things like the streaming and manage certain aspects of that. So now what we have is we have destinations. So on the left here, you'll see a load of tabs. We're gonna have the main page, which is restream.io. You've got destinations, which we're in at the moment. You've got live studio, chat, 
analytics, scheduler, and then there's a couple more. So destinations is the main place we're going to be in to begin with, and we're going to add a couple of things on there. So first of all, we've got YouTube Stream now. It's offline at the moment because we've not gone live yet. I'm going to add another channel, and I'm actually going to add a Facebook Live group. Again, we just go connect Facebook, and then you just need to log in. Now, I've accepted Restream to look after the Facebook side of things, and it's asked me what I want to do. So, I do have a couple of pages, so I only want it going to my John Paul Music UK page. I don't want it going to my personal page. So, I can click on there, and then click Save. I don't want to stop there. I want to add more channels, so I'm going to go and add LinkedIn. Now, LinkedIn is currently in a beta stage at the moment, but you can still add it. It does say that live video broadcast is available for a limited number of members and LinkedIn pages apply now. So if you connect your LinkedIn, so now I've given LinkedIn my information as well, and I can continue to add channels. It's incredibly easy. All you do is you click on the one you want, it takes you to that website, you log in, and it grabs the information it needs to make sure it's streaming. Now on destinations, once you've done that, it will see on the right hand side here, you can see it says streaming software offline. And that's if you want to connect it to something like OBS. So this is where you've got the streaming settings, you've got basically the uh, RTMP, and you've also got the stream key. And the stream key is what you need to actually put into something like OBS. I'm gonna go over that a little bit later. Let's just go over to this side, which is webcam, and it'll just show you the actual live studio. This is actually the second tier down here, and you can say enter live studio. You do not go live at this point, but if I go enter live studio, and here we are. So what it's done here is it's given you a preview window. I'm gonna take you through this section. So if you haven't got things like OBS or you haven't got any kind of software, you can just use this on a web page and go live. So underneath we've got the microphone and we've got the camera and we can disable either of them, mute them and disable them. You've also got share screen, so you can click on there and you can actually share an application. So say for example, you wanted to show off things like your digital audio workstation or you wanted to show off uh, maybe another web page, you can do that. You can also invite guests as well, which is quite useful. And then the next one here, this is really, really important, is where the audio is coming from. So there's a couple of different things. You've got audio import and video, but for audio, it goes to default, which is the microphone of the Mac. But you can actually now select your audio input just like you would in system preferences. So I've got my Focusrite 2i2 plugged in, and there it is, Focusrite 2i2 USB. If I click it, it just changes slightly, see the way it just changed there, and now what it's got, it's got the audio of the Focusrite 2i2, and I have my microphone right here, and I can actually then go live. I could actually put that on the mic stand, which is just here, just out of shot there, and I could then go live, maybe a QA. and a It's a lot better audio, straight away. Now, right now, you can't hear that, because you're just hearing me, because I'm recording my entire screen, but, that works, and that works really, really well. Let's go into a little bit more about how you can engage with your fan base. So on the right-hand side here, just at the top, you can see it says go live. So we're not live right now, and if we hit go live, we're gonna go live to the destinations you've set, which are these three. So YouTube, Stream Now, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Now you can see on the right-hand side here, it just says streaming software offline and webcam. So if we go back to Live Studio, it just takes a moment to access the camera and the details, and I always make sure you go back in here and it goes back to default. Make sure you pick the 2i2 or whichever in interface you have. Also make sure your interface has its latest firmware, it's got any drivers that you need. If you can see your interface on your system preferences, you should be able to see it on Live Studio. Okay, cool, so we're pretty much set up to begin with. Let's go a little bit deeper. So let's have a look at these sections just up here. So what we've got is we've got chat, now it says, Restream IO, the chat is ready to display messages. Click on a message to show it on the screen. So as you can see there, that is a preset one that's already there. If I click it, there it is. It's as simple as that. So say someone says something uh, on your chat and you wanna highlight it. So if I just type here, hi, I think this is great. I can see straight away where it's gonna post that to. So at the moment, it's not posting it anywhere. It's put it, on, it says it's put it on YouTube, but it's not really because I'm not live. And Facebook, it doesn't do it until you go live. But now if I just click this, 
hi, I think this is great. Now I can go even deeper than that and I could have my own login there so you can see my picture um, as well and I can either show it or remove it. So if I go hide message from the stream, there we go. And then you've also got captions. So for you as the host, you want to tell people to do things. So you want to put stuff right here, basically to say, go and subscribe, like, buy a t-shirt. So there's a couple of examples here. So Restream put them up as standard. So I'm going to put my own up. So uh, follow me on all the socials. There we go. There we go. So if I go add caption, that's there now and ready. So if I just click this now. So guys, what I'd like you to do is find a social media that you love, whether it's Instagram or Facebook, and then as I click this link, click the link, and then what you can do is you can find me here. How simple is that? How easy is that? And then all I can do is click hide and it's gone. If I click the X, it will actually delete it. You can't delete these ones. These are the ones that come with Live Studio. Let's do another one. I actually did one earlier before I hit record, which is support live. And then what we can do is we can do buy me a coffee. So this is one of my links to help support my page. So you'll notice as well, it's saved stuff. So as I typed it, so I don't have to retype it in again. So I go add caption. And that's ready. So guys, if you want to support me a little bit further, you can do by buy me a coffee and buymeacoffee.com. The link is on the screen. It's also going to be in the description box below because I'll put that in later on. So that's really, really engaging for your followers. So let's go into graphics. You've got logos and you've got overlays, background and primary color. So you noticed on the chat and the captions, if I bring that up, uh, let me just leave that there for a second. Let's go to back to graphics. You've got primary color at the bottom here. So that's the same color. So you can change the color. Let's put it as uh, something like that, or let's go there. There we go. If I go back to captions, I can now take that off. So you can have your own color, for example. So I could match the color of my t-shirt or I can match the color of my logo. And that's the next thing. So we've got logos. So we can upload our own logo. So let's do that now. There it is. Okay, so I've got a logo already ready. It's a bit small because it's got a lot of stuff on it. I just did this very, very quickly. If I click on there, there you go. Looping and Music Tech, John Paul Music UK. So the next one is overlay. An overlay literally lays on top of over to over the top of the camera. So we've got an overlay here. So this is the Restream one. So you could actually, there you go, live restream. You could change that to your name or whatever you wanted or your logo, your band, and then you can just hide it again. You can upload your own. There's a background and the background, the idea behind this is that if you're gonna turn the camera off at any point, you've got a nice background. So you could have your own logo on there again. You could upload your own background straight away and I can just turn the camera back on when I'm ready. If we go to setup, what you can do is this is really, really nice. You can actually have the title. So when you're setting up a uh, live chat, you can say live chat with JP. So let's put that in live chat with JP. Let's go uh, Q and A and I go update all, what it's gonna do is it's actually gonna update all of these three. So when I go live, the actual title says that. So you could say live gig, at home, and then that would update to YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn, depending on what you're doing. So the next option is chat. So you've got a chat on the studio, but what you can also do is you can integrate that chat into things like OBS, or you could have it completely independently. So I have already downloaded it, and we've got it here, Restream Chat. And then when you bring it back up, what it's gonna do, it's just waiting for new chats. So let's go into this. Let's just have a, give this as a test. And I'm just gonna bring this back up, there we go. And if I just type hi, there you go. John Paul Music UK says hi. And you can see that says there, it's got my logo on it. You can see who said it straight away. So if I was in something like OBS and I didn't want to have the chat overlay actually on the screen, for example, I could actually still have it completely independently here. However, I can embed it in the stream. So actually I can put it into my software. So if I copy this now, so here we are on OBS, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna embed that chat. I'm gonna put it here on this side. So we're gonna add a browser. So if I add a browser, I can call it whatever I want. So I'm just gonna call it chat. Okay, and then it says basically what's the URL. So all we need to do is replace that URL with the one that they gave me, click okay, and then it's gonna be ready. Now. I can move this chat around. So now, as we can see, the chat is just here and it just says there, the chat is ready to display messages. So I'm just gonna lock that. Let's just test it. And then what we'll do is if I go back to Restream Chat, let me just go, hello. 
and straight away, there it is. You can see it there, it's fantastic. So it just basically comes up straight away. And then if someone else is on a different platform, they can see it as well. So you can engage with your audience straight away in one format, but that way you can keep OBS, you can keep it all up and running. I can still do my subscribe count, so I can go remember to subscribe, for example, um, and I've got my ticker at the bottom, how I like it, but we've got integrated into Restream right here. Now we've got everything the way we want it. Now we need to send the stream from OBS to Restream so they can push it out to all the networks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to stream. And instead of using something like Facebook Live, you can actually see there, there is a Restream straight away. So Restream IO RTMP. You can do auto detect if you want to, um, but basically what I would strongly recommend is use the server that's closest to you. So I'm in the UK, so we're gonna use London. And then we can go get stream key. So if we do that, it's gonna boot up restream.io again. So there's our stream key. We can basically grab that straight away and we can actually copy that key and just paste it into here and click OK. We're ready to stream. So we're gonna actually use OBS to go into restream and then restream is gonna push that out the way we want it. The reason for using OBS is of course you can use multiple cameras and we can actually have it the way we want. I could have my logos, I can have anything up here. And using Restream Studio, if you don't have all that equipment, but you just wanna do streaming to multiple channels, you can with just a web browser. Getting started with Restream is completely free. Now there is also a standard and a professional system that you can pay for either monthly or annually. Now I said I had a little gift for you and I've reached out to Restream and what they've done is we've set up a link that's on the screen now and it's in the description box below. And for anyone who registers, you'll get $10 of Restream credit. That's over half of the standard plan for a month and 25% off the professional plan for one month as well. So click the link, make an account and start streaming to multiple platforms today. Now, if you wanna learn a little bit more about how I set up my system so I can use my iPhone with my audio interface, click this link. And then if you wanna have a look at how I set up OBS, click this link. If you wanna support me a little bit further, you can do by buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.